Alto Irrigation District is an old district. Uh, we uh, were private in the 1800s and 1888 became a public irrigation district. We're at Harder Pond, which is a water banking facility. In the district, we're primarily permanent crops. Um, we have about 38,000 acres of uh, uh, deciduous uh, uh, tree fruit crops, uh, which are predominant in the district. Uh, an increasing amount of citrus. We have 13, 14,000 acres of citrus, and that's growing. When we put the volumetric price in and started charging for the water, um, we, we noticed uh, less spill, more control, more co cooperation because landowners are being charged when they're not using it. So they make sure they let us know when they turn off. That didn't always happen before. So there is a, a cause and effect when you, when you, as they say, when you have a little skin in the game, you, you, you're more apt to, to pay attention. And, and uh, again, we want to use the resource to its uh, best advantage. We, uh, we have meters and, and, and we have different types of measurement devices, but we make sure there's at least one measurement a day to base that, uh, that uh, price to the landowner. And we put all the measurements online and so the landowners can look at their accounts a day after they're me measured and see what they're being charged. And if they don't think it's equitable or something's not right, you know, we can, we can take a look at that. But, uh, but anyway, we've, like I said, we've done it for 10 years and it's, it's, uh, it's been a good, good, uh, good working arrangement in terms of the operation of our district. Uh, but we were very upfront with the landowners. Uh, they knew what we were doing, why we were doing it. We, we uh, had public hearings. I met with people. Uh, we sent mailings out. Um, and so we had a transparent process so that you have to have that trust for things to go well. We looked at what the groundwater cost uh, was and uh, we certainly didn't want to have the uh, surface water cost uh, anywhere near the groundwater cost. Uh, so we used, it, used a, a price to capture our cost to distribute the water uh, and, and not uh, any add-on uh, price. And, so we, and we told the landowners that, that we were going to take the, the, the cost items that took to deliver the water and that's what they were going to pay for and we were going to have balance those costs and that's that's all we would charge for we look at it as really an incentive pricing as a lead in to conjunctive use uh, we want the surface water to be used we don't want people to pump groundwater when we have surface water available so we want to have it uh, as an incentive that when the surface water is there it gets used so that we protect our groundwater. That is our conjunctive use plan. Conjunctive use is the uh, kind of the integration of, of, of several factors that depend on each other. And in this case, it's surface water and groundwater. On an average annual basis, we do not have an adequate supply of surface water to meet all of our needs on wet years and dry years. On wet years, we do. On dry years, we don't. So, uh, and, and that seems like that's the way it is. It seems like it's either real wet or real dry. The, the average years, uh, I guess we don't remember those. So we, we work on our conjunctive use plan to, to protect our groundwater in the uh, wet years and, make, and, and have the surface water used. And then when we get into the dry years, uh, to uh, have enough groundwater to meet the, the needs of the landowners uh, on their groundwater pumping. And so that, that, the two do work together and they work in conjunction with each other. The best groundwater recharge though is turning off the pumps. If you, as you deliver your surface water and turn off your groundwater pumps, that's the, the, the quickest and the best way to recharge groundwater. So that's why we support water efficiency because the more efficient we are, we are with our water, the more pumps we turn off. And that's your best uh, groundwater recharge. By adding on these efficiencies, we're saving water. And some of that saved water, we will be uh, addressing some of our water quality issues in another area of the district. And it's really a regional type issue where we're driving benefits from one area and using them someplace else. But one approach that we've taken is, is to look for those win-win solutions where farmers uh, have uh, basically we're doing a better job serving farmers which adds to their efficiency of operation, uh, address some of our long-term water quality needs, improve groundwater recharge, and address some of our flooding issues.